Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Economic Affairs, Social Security, Planning, and National Development, Honorable Dr. Kennedy Anthony, Ambassador of the Republic of China on Taiwan, His Excellency Mr. James Shang, Accountant General, Government of St. Lucia, Mrs. Marie Monrose, Director of Finance, Government of St. Lucia, Mr. Gusta de Gazo. Other members of staff of the Embassy of the Republic of China on Taiwan, members of the press, other guests, a special good morning to all of you. I am indeed honored to be given the task of welcome, welcoming you all here this morning to witness a historic event. So we're here this morning to witness the presentation of a check to the constituency development program that would filter to benefit the people, the people on the ground through our government of St. Lucia. And with these words, I go straight on to the, the part that is the most important part of this morning's event. But before we do so, we will hear from our Prime Minister, Honorable Dr. Kennedy Anthony. Since his arrival to St. Lucia, His Excellency has conducted the relationship with mutual respect and mutual understanding, and in full appreciation of the laws of not only our country, but also of his country. We welcome this. He has conducted himself with honor, integrity, and in full respect of the traditions of this country, a part, as I indicated, in full honor of the laws of our own country. There is no doubt that he is determined to build a new friendship, a new relationship with the people of St. Lucia, and for this we are exceedingly grateful to him. I made the point that he has indicated that he will conduct the relationship with St. Lucia in full respect of our, our laws and our traditions. And this presentation today is a superb example of what I mean. And we really want to thank His Excellency for agreeing to, to honor the request of the government of St. Lucia. I believe this has laid a firm basis for strengthening the friendship um, between our respective countries and to embrace each other in a framework of mutual understanding, mutual dialogue, mutual appreciation of each other. So this is a very direct contribution to our efforts to help to bring um, economic opportunities to our people throughout the length and breadth of this island. So I am an exceedingly happy um, Prime Minister and exceedingly pleased that the relationship between our two countries are now being developed on a firm foundation of mutual respect, mutual understanding. I close by saying that I am very impressed with His Excellency, his, his sincerity and his commitment to build a new relationship. And for this, we certainly, in turn, will handle our relationship with this country with great respect, with great honor, and with great integrity. So, Your Excellency, thank you very much for your generosity and that of your country. Good morning. It is my great pleasure and honor to attend this launch ceremony of the Constituency Development Program. This program contains 115 projects. It mainly concentrates on road, footpaths, and drainage works, as well as other infrastructure construction for all 17 constituencies in St. Lucia. It is believed that the completion of this program will not only provide better safety, communication, and services to nationwide towns and villages, but also further strengthen the foundation for St. Lucia to prosper.
In addition to the 2012 constituency development program, I would also like to take this opportunity to indicate that several other ongoing projects, such as the Banana Black Sectoga project, the St. Jude Hospital Reconstruction project, and so forth, are under implementation. In accordance with the international cooperation law and the three principles of justified purpose, legal and transparent process, and effective implementation, it is our hope that there will be more cooperation projects to be delivered for our mutual welfare and benefits. In conclusion, it is my firm belief that through our joint efforts in many cooperation programs, the government and the peoples of the Republic of China, Taiwan, and St. Lucia will enjoy an even closer, stronger, and more productive relationship. Thank you.